What is going on guys and welcome to HTML and CSS projects videos. In this video we're just going to create a simple website that has a header, a container over here with two divs and over here a footer also. So let's fire up the text editors and let's get to work. So the first thing we would have obviously need to do, we would need to create a index.html file and a style CSS that would style our website. And you can see that I have done this in a div website folder, but I mean, you can do it whatever you would want. And obviously the first thing we would need to do, we would need to create a HTML skeleton. Now, also one more thing that since I'm working in brackets, you can see that I'm using the live preview over here. So whatever we're going to be doing, we're going to be seeing right away live. So the way I'm going to add the HTML skeleton, I'm going to actually use the brackets extensions, but if you don't know how to work with them, I actually have a playlist and you can go and have check it out, whether it's the HTML skeleton extension or brackets extensions in general. I try to cover as throughout as I can. So over here, we just click over here to HTML skeleton and we can see what type of uh, skeleton we can add. So I'm just going to add a basic skeleton over here and you can see that I have HTML language and I'm just going to set it to English. But I'm just going to get rid of over here with this viewport for now because we I don't really care whether it's responsive or not. And we're just going to start with my title. So I'm just going to say my first website over here. So now we have the title of the website. So let's jump to body and let's start creating uh, the website that we uh, that I showed you in the beginning of the video. So the first thing that I would want to do is I would want to actually create a div which would have a class and the class would be, I'm going to give it a name value of header. And within that header, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a heading tag, let's say H1, and it's going to say my first site over here. Okay, so let's just keep going and let's create a actual container that would create our, that con would contain our two divs. So I'm going to give it a class con container and within this container I'm going to create a, another div over here and I'm going to say that this, this div has a class of let's say left side and over here I'm going to close it close it out but before I do that before I jump to the right side div I'm just going to place a an ordered list which is actually going to be my menu over here and I'm going to create uh, some list items. However, before I create list items, I'm going to create them as links. So I'm just going to create a href, uh, but I'm going to set the href attribute to hashtag over here. So they're not really going anywhere, but they're still clickable. And I'm just going to say that the first time is going to be, my first link is going to be home. And then I'm just going to make, I don't know, four of them over here. And then I'm going to write about, yeah, and you can see that my typing is, as always, pretty horrendous. And here I'm going to write info. And here I'm going to say contact. So now I have my links within the first div. And let's just keep going. Now I'm in a left container div. So I'm just going to jump out and I'm going to create a right side. So I'm just going to create again div. And I'm going to create class and the class is going to be each, uh, equal to right, right sidebar. Okay. L right side over here like this. So I'm going to close it out. And within that uh, right sidebar, I'm just going to place a H2 heading over here. And I'm going to say that, uh, welcome to my first uh, website over here and I'm going to create a, another paragraph right underneath which is going to say this is the most amazing website let's say ever right so I created these two and I think I'm pretty I'm pretty sure that I'm done with my right side so the only thing left that is, I would need to jump out of my container because I don't want to work anymore in this in this container. 
I'm done over here. You can see where it starts and where it ends. And I'm just going to create a div that is going to have a class. And the class is going to be footer. And over here, within that footer, we're going to place a, a paragraph, which is going to have just a simple copyright. So I'm going to write over here, copyright. And if we want to add a specific HTML um, special character, like would be copyright, we can either remember how it's written, or there's another extension actually in brackets that we could use. And that would be the special HTML characters. So all you need to do is since I have installed this uh, extension, I just go over here on edit and press a special HTML character. And here it is. Here's the copyright. So and you can see that there's a bunch of them. So you don't really need to worry about whether you sometimes if you need it and you don't know who, uh, what is the actual name, you can see that this over here, there's the name here, the insert, what you would need to write. So I'm just going to click copyright over here. And I'm going to write codingaddict.com, which is a website that obviously doesn't exist well as of yet. So now we're done with HTML and let's just check it out. You can see that with live preview, I can just make the page bigger and you can see that, uh, well, it's nothing special. However, we have done the, the, the part where we are creating the HTML or the bones for the, for our website, right? So now what we would need to do is we would actually need to style it. But before we style it, we would have obviously would have to link it to our style CSS. The way we would do that, we would create a link and I would say relationship and the relationship would be equal to, well, not <laughs> alternate. Actually, it would be to style sheet, style sheet over here. And over here, I would write a href over here. And HR would be style CSS. And now we have created a link. So now whatever I'm going to be doing in style CSS, we're going to be able to see it over here in our live preview. Now, here's the thing though. I'm going to just uh, do the first thing. But what I'm going to do is the main body. And then I'm going to show you how we can work actually in the brackets with a quick edit. So we don't actually need to leave the HTML file. We can stay there. But the first body, I'm just going to say, uh, I'm going to style it. And what I'm going to say is that I'm going to create a margin and margin is going to be zero. So there's no default margin. So everything what we do, actually, we don't need to worry about the, the preset margins. And I'm going to say that font size is going to be, let's say by default is going to be 14 pixels. And over here, font family, I'm going to say that font family is Let's say, so, I mean, look at the mono space, right? Well, let's try mono space because that's going to be different for what I showed you before in the beginning of the video, just, just for, for sake of it. So now we have, now we have created with the body. So let's just jump back to index HTML and here's the deal. Now I don't need to go back to the style sheet and remember that, well, this is the header or that is the container or left side. All I would have to do is press command E. And you can see that I have a new rule and I can, you can see right away creates a class for me. And it's actually, you can see over here that it says that it's style CSS. So that's where it's creating the, the, my, my rule right now. And you can see the line where it's creating. So it's line six. Now we can also do it by just right clicking and you can see over here, quick edit, right? So all we have to do is do the same thing and it's the same result. So the first thing we would need to do is we would actually need to create, let's say I want a background color and I'm going to set it equal to aqua over here. And the next rule of what I would do is actually I would create a padding and I'm just going to create a padding all around and I'm going to say that it's 10 pixels over here. Now, I think we're pretty ready to go to container, but let's just look at the live preview one more time. So now I can see that our header is there and it has a nice padding all around our h1 and it has a background aqua so we can just save it over here with command s and the next thing obviously what we have is container so again we just press command e we have a new rule and now we're dealing with the whole container that has two divs on and the one thing that i would do is i would just set the width for the whole container to 100 percent 
So it's extending through our whole website. And that would be pretty much it, what I would do. If I'm going to change my mind, we can always jump back and, and do something. But for now, that would be it. So now we start with an interesting part where we start dealing with the left sidebar. So we press the new rule. And what I would say that I would want to float this sidebar over here. Press float and I would say that I want to float to the left. And I would say that I want the width of that uh, sidebar, the left sidebar, I would say that I would want it like 30%. So now I have a sidebar that's 30%. And let's say the height, just for the reason, so we're working with the live preview, and you can see that if you will be doing this with me, then once you save it on, uh, actually on a website, uh, if you don't open in live preview, it's going to look, uh, the height would be different. But just for the sake of actually working in a live preview, because I just don't want it to extend too much down, I don't want to scroll it up and down, I'm just going to set it to 250 pixels, right? But we can obviously set it to 600, 800, well, 50 or however you want. And the background color over here for this left side, I would say that I would want it blue. So here it is, our backside is blue, but because the links by default are actually styled also blue, you can see that it's, you can rare, barely see them. But that's okay, we'll fix that later, so let's not worry about it right now. So right away I go to my right side over here, and again I create a quick edit rule. And this rule is I'm gonna say that again I'm, I want to do the float, and I want to do the float, and I want to do the float on the left over here and you can see how my margins disappeared because I float them both to the left. Now the next thing we would need to do is we would need to send, uh, set the width, right? And since we set uh, the width of this left side bar 30, we're obviously going to set this width to 70%. So now you can see over here how my width is 70%. And again, I'm going to just make it a height and the height is going to be 200 and 50 pixels, so they're both equal over here. And I'm gonna set a different background color. I'm just gonna say that it's gonna be beige over here. And uh, the text, I'm gonna text it align center. And I would also say that font size, let's say just for fun of it, I'm just gonna make it different. I'm gonna make it like 18 pixels over here so it's a little bit bigger so now that we're done with the font size let's move on to our footer over here so i'm just going to save this and now we're working with our footer so i'm just going to refresh this over here that's just a little thing with a live preview on brackets so now we have a footer over here and you can see over here what's tricky is that since we have floated both of these elements left and right you can see that how with the live preview it's actually our footers extending over here and i'll sh show you how it actually messes up with some of the things that we would want to do so the first thing let's say i would want to do is a background color and background color i would say that i wanted a let's say chocolate right so i'm just going to set it to chocolate over here and what else i would want to do is i would want to text a line again i would set it to center and another thing I would want to do is font size. And let's say that I'm going to set the font size to 18 pixels again. And what else I would want to do is, I don't know, padding left. I would want to say like, um, let's say 10 pixels. Padding left, 10 pixels over here. And now the problem is that you can see that there's a little bit different. It's not exactly the same. And the reason for that, why it's not exactly the same, you can see that padding on the top is a little bit different than it is on the bottom, right? So what is happening is because it's still floating around in here, because the float is letting this footer to go all the way up. So what we would need to do over here, once we're dealing with the footer, what we would need to do is write clear over here. And we would write over here that it clears both uh, left and right. And now I can see that uh, how our padding is exactly the same right now because we have cleared it uh, from both of these both of these divs that are actually floating left. So let's go back over here. And now the last thing what we want to do is we want to actually work with this list over here, which is like our menu, which is actually also as a link, right? 
So I'm just going to save this over here and I'm just going to jump to style CSS. I'm going to go all the way in the bottom and I'm just going to create a little bit more space for us. And now let's style our on order list. So the first thing we would want to do is we would want to use the selector UL. And what we want to do is we would actually want to say that margin is going to be zero over here, everywhere, all around. And the padding, we also want zero. So now you can see that it's harder to see because my links are, it's hard to see them. But now you can see that they basically moved from where they were because I set the margin and padding right now both of them to zero. So whatever we'll be styling actually is going to matter because the default styling is gone. And what I would want to do is list style and list style. I'm going to set it to none because I don't want the typical a list style elements to, to have those bullet points there. So I'll just tell it to list style none. And just so it's a little bit easier for us to work with, I'm just going to do a little bit something a little bit other way around because I'm going to say list uh, li over here, ul li, list item, and I'm going to select the uh, anchor tags over here. I'm going to say that color, and I want the color to be actually red so we can see what we are doing. So I'm just going to style it to red, and now we can see that we have them. And text decoration, I would want to get rid of that underline. So I'm going to say text decoration, text, well, you can see again, I'm typing left and right, and text decoration, and I would set it to none over here. But let's go back, and I'm going to show you how we're actually dealing with it, because before that, maybe it wasn't, we were not able to see. So now you can see where our links are, we're actually originally. So that's why I set margin, and I say that margin is going to be zero, and then I'm going to say the padding is going to be zero and padding is zero and now you can see how they they all move back there in the corner where we want them and the last thing is actually list style and i'm just going to say that list style is going to be none over here so now we don't have neither of them we don't have margin padding and list style also and like i said i did a little bit different because the first obviously would want to select uh on our list list item and actually uh, style the list item. But the only thing is I would want to do is actually have the margin. And I'm going to say that the margin top and margin right, I would want zero. But then bottom, I would want five pixels and the left, I would want five pixels. And let's move on. And the last thing that I would want to do is actually when I'm hovering over the list, my links, uh, I would want actually to have a text to be underlined then and also the cursor to be a little bit different. So I would want set a text decoration over here and I would say that I want a underline. And the last thing that I would want to do is cursor progress over here. So now that we're done with uh, styling the uh, hovering link, we can actually just make this bigger over here. You can see this is our website and we can also obviously move back, which you can see that the only difference when I set the fonts between this, the, the, the one that I showed you in the beginning and the one that we have over here right now. So this is going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.